Hey everybody, what's going on? How's it going? How was your day? There's a helicopter flying over our house. That's always reassuring. Ooh, I hate it so much. Anyway, besides the helicopter flying over the house in a circle, probably looking for an escaped inmate or something, um, I'm doing okay. I got off work late, so this video is going to be uploaded late. I came home to a ton of Timu bags outside my house. Like, I want to say like six bags. And some of them are still outside. Don't tell my mom. Because she um, she's down there in the kitchen in her little chair watching her little TV set. And um, as soon as she goes to sleep... I'm going to go outside and get the other bags and bring them in. That's how, yeah, I'm scared of her. Heck yes, I'm scared of her. Okay, what is this? All right, I'm just watching. I've got like three different phones going. I'm just kidding. I've got two. I am trying to pull up quickly my delivered orders. I don't know. I've got this gigantic bag. So let's see what's going on in there. How's my mom doing? She's doing okay. Her arm is healing. Why isn't this loading? Okay, thank you. Gosh. I mean, her arm is, her arm looks horrible today. Oh, what am I wearing? Um, Diane from Mimi's Life sent me this top, and this is the jewelry, jewelry set that I won from her giveaway, so it looks beautiful with this top. She, and it also goes perfectly with my favorite kind of burgundy pants so I felt so coordinated today you guys and I love this pretty top it's got really pretty sleeves it's not I've got it you can tie it or you can untie it but I left it untied so people could see the lovely necklace nobody said anything about it today though I was like come on come on can I get some compliments from somebody please but no everybody was all wrapped up in their little corporate lives Okay, what's going on first in this bag? There's a box. So we'll see what's in it. I don't really have anything new. I started watching a documentary last night on Netflix called something like Escaping the Twin Flames or something like that. I don't know. It was It's about that cult or kind of a cult. Yeah, the Twin Flames cult. Where these two people who are still on YouTube right now will find you your perfect twin flame romantic partner if you pay them a billion, you know, all this money and join their new age twin flames movement or whatever. So I started watching that last night and I got a little sleepy because I did have a little margarita and I didn't get a chance to finish even episode one. It was, it's like a multi-part it's like a docu-series. I don't know how many episodes are in it, but I highly recommend it so far. And uh, I forgot my garbage bag. Just put it on the ground. Just put it on the ground. Okay, what is it? Oh, okay. Now this is part of a set though. Where's the, oh, we hate that sound. Okay, this is, I'm sure you guys have seen this in your feeds. Oh my gosh, I love this Santa. Okay, this is a gingerbread Santa. And he's holding out a gingerbread Christmas tree. He's got blue, blue eyes. And his coat. And he's... Oh, wait a minute. Is that broken? Oh, it's chipped a little bit. Shut up. Oh, whatever. It's chipped and cracked a little bit. I don't care. He's standing on uh, a little part of his shoe is sort of chipped out right there. He's standing. Uh, I'm going to take a picture. I, yeah, I'm going to get my money back for that, though. Um, if I saw this in the store, I would buy one with a full foot. But he's standing on a little gingerbread platform and he's holding a little gingerbread cake. Oh, wait a minute. Where is Diane Harcrow? Diane Harcrow, I still haven't heard from Diane, who is the winner of my 
diamond painting giveaway, uh, mystery box thing, giveaway thing. And I will tag her in this video too. I'll, if I don't hear from her in, I'm going to say, I don't know, what do you guys think? Two days, three days, I'll draw another winner. I'll tag her in this video. Hopefully, maybe she's can't access my community feed. Maybe she watches me on TV or something. And uh, yeah, so I'll tag her and hopefully she'll see her tag. And if I don't hear from her in, what is today? Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. If I don't hear from her by Monday, I will draw another winner and we'll do it again. Okay, that's Santa was here he is now he comes with mrs claus so let me see if she's in here and he is see order information that's what i want to do i paid 719 from for him timu just describes him as brown boy <laughs> but he is santa claus and um he is still now he's seven ninety eight, and I'm about to show you. Hopefully, Mrs. Claus is in here. Well, that looks like a big box, though. Maybe this is Mrs. Claus. I don't know, though. Wait, here's another box that's kind of smallish. Maybe this is Mrs. Claus. All this styrofoam. I mean, I shouldn't be complaining about the styrofoam, seeing as how it keeps things from breaking, but it does make quite a mess. Should we start a pool for how... Oh, no. All over my pants. Should we start a pool for how long it takes before I lose a fingernail? I give it... What have we been? Seven minutes? I'm going to try for at least 15 minutes to hold on to my fingernails before they pop off so yes in my community feed i posted the picture of diane um the random comment picker picking diane's comment and diane where are you okay i can't get this out Ugh. ouch you guys my hands are tired from typing all day i'm worried about what's happening to my hands my hands are getting really um bad like they hurt really bad and i need my hands to work and really like to where when i move it's excruciating pain when i go like ah! when i move when i move especially when i move this thumb ah! you know when you something hurts so bad you can't stop doing it because you're so fascinated with how bad it hurts. That's how bad this, th oh, the aching, aching pain. Now, I'm not complaining. Well, I guess I am complaining. Well, I'm just saying I'm vaguely worried about it. It's either carpal tunnel syndrome. Ow, like I can't even pull out Mrs. Claus. Or it's, um, could be arthritis. I mean, I am getting up there to that age. It could be, I mean, who knows what it could be. I'm not going to Google it because Google will say cancer. Okay, here's Mrs. Claus. Now, she's smiling. She's holding her own gingerbread house. She's made of gingerbread. What's broken on this one? <laughs> it's getting to be like a, like a game. Can you find what broke on this? Okay, nothing. Okay, so when they go together, they go... Like, oh, how cute is that? Yeah, he goes this way and she goes this way and they're giving each other little, um, yum. They're making me hungry. Here, cheese. Hello. Or, oh, wait, hold this up a little bit. Hold this up a little bit. Cheese. That's so cr <laughs> That's a lame smile. <laughs> smile. I don't know. I just look exhausted. There's nothing I can do. There's nothing I can do. All right. Who knows? I'm even too tired to, I'm just going to upload this too. I'm not even going to watch the replay. So Lord help me. Is there anything weird going on behind me? No, we've got, the cats are going to eat this. We've got hot coffee. We've got 
Um, I don't see anything weird going on behind me. Now, whatever this, I was like, okay, so she, I paid $7.19 for her, and she is now $7.98 to Brown Girl. <laughs> Timu, come on with your translations, these sellers and their Christmas translations. We've got Christmas Crutch as the candy cane. We've got Christmas Elk for the reindeer. We've got Brown Boy, or I also saw a description for, um, and Brown Girl for Mr. and Mrs. Gingerbread Claws. And then also I saw a description of, ow, oh, wow, ow. Oh. I also saw a description of Santa Claus that said, Christmas Grandpa. I mean, I guess so, if you want to call him that. Okay, I don't know, man. My hand, if I knew my hand was going to hurt this much, I might not have made this video tonight. Or I definitely would have taken some ibuprofen first or something. Okay, I'm trying to. They took a box, they wrapped it in bubble wrap. Whatever is in here, I don't, I don't. No, I didn't know I ordered something that was so breakable. Okay, let me lean back so I'm not squishing up my neck. What? Oh, that's my hair. Okay, I was like, what is happening to my neck? Um, yeah, I'm having... I had a good hair day for about 10 minutes this morning, and then it rained out, and then the humidity got to my hair, and so much for that. So much for that good hair day. Okay. Someday my prince will come and unwrap this bleeping, bleeping, bleeping box. All right. We're almost done. Gosh, that was a chore. I'm exhausted now. Good Lord, now you know what's going to be in here. A styrofoam box. You take my big scissors and saw it open. Don't ever cut with the scissors going toward you like I just did. Always cut away from you. Like that. Okay, now there's more styrofoam in here. Is it another Santa? Did I just go Santa crazy? Santa crazy? Hurry down to Timu tonight. This is the second day in a row I have not ordered anything from Timu. That's a really sad thing to say. Pretty proud of myself. Yeah, there were times I was placing an order a day. But these days I just look and I don't really see anything that I want or I'll see things that are cute and I'll think I can get that at Walgreens for the same price. Like for instance, I saw this Santa, I saw this Santa in a TV set and it looked really cute. And I saw the same thing at Walgreens for $20 and on Timu it was $26. Well, this is broken. With all that wrapping and everything, I'm very bummed because it's a very cute, so cute. How does that happen? It was so, it was so wrapped up. Oh man. Well, I don't even see how I can glue it because oh, it glues like this. Well, it was a snowman. With a little sweater and a top hat on. <clears throat> dancing in the snow. And wow, I'm sad. It's, he's cute. Look at his cute little face. And the sweater is textured. And why am I describing it when poor snowman? Don't tell me to glue it. Look, do you know I have a pile of things over there that need to be glued? Like, just sit down. Devote... Oh no, there goes the Santa. Oh, did I just break the Santa? Did you guys hear that crash? It landed on the, it landed. I have a little, hold on a second. 
Let me get Santa off the ground. Is he in, I can't lean down because I'll flash you guys. I don't, as much as you're probably hoping for it. Santa is not broken. All right, well, here's Santa dancing on a pile of snow in his Christmas sweater with his little holding a Christmas tree. And the snowman was dancing and holding a present. And yes, I might get my money back for this and try to get it again. I don't know. Uh, I mean, I'll try to, I'll definitely get my money back for it. And then I'll try to glue it. I don't know, man. It's This is really... I don't blame it for breaking because this is really heavy to put on just one foot like this. Wow. The poor... I do feel bad for the seller because the seller went to all that trouble... I can't. I'm not smart enough to even figure out what all what's going to happen is I'm going to get the glue on and then I'm going to be like, "Wait a minute, how do I do this?" Okay, I think it goes like like this, but then a big piece of it's missing. Even if I glued it, it wouldn't stand up. Oh well, I mean, I could stick him in a plant. <laughs> I don't know. I, my feet, my heart is broken because he's such a cute snowman, but that's how we become hoarders. But Santa is cute. He's all alone, though. He's lonely. I could put him with the gingerbread clauses. Gosh, that's heartbreaking. Poor, they cut, so I think I, they come as a set. And I'm sure I, pre yeah, I paid 20 bucks for them. Not really. I paid $18 and 48 cents for those. So you bet your bottom dollar I'm getting my money back. And they come together. They're still $18.48. And they are really cute. And wow. That's a shame. I. That's my mom texting me about my mom's making soup. And then she's dumping a bunch of rice in it. And. It's gonna be like a, uh, it's gonna be like a chicken and rice soup. So she's up and on her feet and making things down there that smell really good. What are we on? Seventeen minutes. What in the world is this? Oh, you know what this is, you guys? Have you guys heard of the brand of plushies called Jelly Cat? Well, Jelly Cat is like a real like uppity. If everybody wants a jelly cat, if you Google jelly cat, all one word, and go to their website, but they're kind of like the hip happening, ritzy New York mom plushy toys. Well, they have a snow dragon at Neiman Marcus for $1,055. And then on their website, they have a small snow dragon that this is a dupe of for $55. And I got the Jelly Cat Snow Dragon dupe on Timu. And here it is. And I'm tempted to buy the real, not the Neiman Marcus one, <laughs> the one on the website. And compare the two of them and see. Then I'll have two snow dragons. And then I'll have yet another plushie at age coughity cough 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 okay jelly cat dupe is not in this order because of course not and it's not called jelly cat dupe it's called i have no idea what it's called is it called stuffed dragon is it called here it is now i'm stuck on santa baby hurry down the chimney tonight it is Flying Dragon Plushie. I paid $6.24 for it. I must have gotten a spin the wheel deal thing because it is really $12.48. So, but awesome deal for $6.24 and still a good deal for $12.48 considering people are paying $50. 
$5 for it on Jelly Cat or $1,055 for it at Neiman Marcus. We love Neiman Marcus at Christmas time, don't we? They just have the most outrageous things. Neiman Marcus and Saks Fifth Avenue. I love to look at their Christmas offerings, but especially Neiman Marcus is my favorite department store to window shop, I guess. I mean, we don't have one where I live, but I mean, online, look at all their really expensive Christmas stuff. Uh-oh, this sounds like it's in pieces too. I'm not having good luck tonight. Oh, he came in like a wrecking ball. Here he comes. I saw, oh sure, it's Lana. Haul these Santa Clauses. And I said, yes please, these Nordic, this set of Nordic Santas. Let's see if they come in one piece, all three. There should be three of them in here. That one just kind of fell out on its own. Somebody made me feel much better about all this stuff. And they said, well, that's Christmas stuff. And you'll pack that up and put that away. And it's not really like you're accumulating a ton of stuff because so far you've just been buying a lot of seasonal stuff. And that's true, I have, for the most part. I mean, for a big part. For some part, I've been buying seasonal stuff. Okay, these look like they're in one piece, knock on wood. Here comes the wrecking ball, speaking of broken things. Here, put this down, actually. Ooh, they feel, uh, they're made out of ceramic, rough like ceramic though. And they got that rough like a chalk, like they feel like a piece of chalk. This looks like it has a fine hairline crack around the bottom. Ooh. But I'm just going to ignore it. It feels like a chalkboard. Do you hear that? Okay, there's the middle one. So there's a tall skinny one. There's a middle one. And they are mostly white with gold hats and gold buttons and then there's going to be a smallest one gosh i should have had a plan for where i was going to put these things before i ordered them because we're running out of space for santa claus i packed up all my halloween stuff i guess i can line these up on my dresser where the ghosts were here's the tiny Santa that's about as tall as my hand and he's got little three little gold buttons and a gold hat and the rest of him is all white so very abstract Nordic design Santa set and now I have to find those okay because they're not in the flying dragon order of course I'm not that lucky I could never be that lucky here they are they are three pieces set Santa Claus ceramic, $17.09, made of high-end ceramics. Pretty. Here they are all grouped. Here they are all grouped together. Very pretty. All right. Wow, we have a lot of styrofoam in our lives. Right, Loki? Maybe I should keep this bottom piece and maybe I ah, had, that's a really good idea. Put them back in. Now put your hands over your ears for a minute. I'm going to put them back in there. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going to put them back in their thing. One more. There's just one more to go. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. There, I feel better about them in there now. Wow, all over these. First of all, these burgundy pants, they pick up a lot of lint anyway. That's the one thing I kind of don't like about them. I'm constantly rolling them with a lint, uh, blah, a lint roller when I wear them. 
And now they've got little, it looks like I've been rolling in fake snow. They've got little dots of styrofoam. Okay, the next thing in here is, oh my gosh, it's a blanket. Oh, who knew I was such a blanket binge buyer? But I thought this was really pretty. Now, it feels very canvassy, though. Not canvassy. Like, you can see the texture. It's very rough. It's not a soft, cuddly blanket. But it is a big... Let me see if I can... Oh, my thumb. Holy crikey. Now, I heard from someone in Australia that they don't say holy crikey. They either say crikey, mate. Okay, it's got this fringe on the end, but nobody ever says holy crikey. Okay, well, I'm saying holy crikey. Okay, it's got this... So, it's this really... Uh, what do you call this print? Like, woodland... Nordic design. Let's just call this Nordic too. Like Nordic woodland forest Christmas animals prints. Is it upside down? I can't tell. Oh, there's an ornament. Okay, that's pretty. There looks like there's a reindeer right there coming up. I hope. I don't know. I'll have to play this back and look at it to see what the <laughs> see what I'm actually showing you. It's very, there's a little house, I think. See, on the other side, there's not the design. It's just this on the other. Well, it is the design, but it's not the design. So, okay, there's the reindeer. Okay, I see now what's going on. There's a house. But it's, and it's got, as you can see, there's some, it looks like almost there's gold or shiny thread woven in. It's a, nice, it's a pretty, pretty beautiful, beautiful blanket. I wouldn't call it a soft and cuddly blanket, but I would call it a gorgeous, gorgeous blanket. Christmas Elk Camping Tassel. Yeah, Tassel. $20.24. And $20.24. And this item is sold out. Oh, if I known if I would have known it was sold out, I wouldn't have gone on and on and on about how awesome it is. Sorry about that. It sucks. Okay. I think that's all that's in this bag. I have one more small bag. And then I have a whole bunch of other bags downstairs. And then I have some outside. But tomorrow's Friday, and it's payday, and it's yay day, and next week is a short week. So this little bag has my address on both sides. Thanks, Timu. Hopefully I blocked that out enough, and it's got two little boxes on it. So this haul is going to be short. I didn't. I only posed for one thumbnail. Maybe I should pose for another one with this broken snowman. Like, oh... That's not a good face. A very merry Timu haul. I always use that one. A not so merry Timu haul. I love that snowman so much. And I could get my money back and just buy it again. But then I'd have two Santas. And I could give away one of the Santas in a giveaway, but I don't know. Look at the wheels trying to turn in my head and failing. I don't know what to do. I love that snowman. I love the snowman. Okay, don't tell Santa. Don't tell Santa, but I love that snowman more than I love that Santa Claus. If Santa would have broken, oh well. But I'm devastated that the snowman is the one that broke. Now, I know you're not supposed to pick favorites. But I just did. Okay, I'm trying to get this little box open while I just run my mouth in a ridiculous way. I want to ask my device to tell me some Santa Claus facts and stuff. But I don't want people to get mad at me for talking to my device. So, should I warn, talk, okay, I'm about to talk to my device. So, if you have a device and you don't want it to go off, you might want to mute this. 
until I hopefully remember to hold up a finger and tell you that I'm done. Okay, are you ready? I'm about to do it. Alexa, how many days until Christmas? Christmas is in 39 days on Monday, December 25th, 2023. Oh my God. Did I answer your question? Yes. Alexa, where's Santa? Santa is at the North Pole. There are 38 days left until he makes his journey around the world. Would you like to hear a Santa joke? Yes. Why wouldn't a Christmas tree stand up? Why? It had no legs. It was dumb. How about another Santa joke? No, thank you. Want to hear a fact from the top secret Santa files? Yes. Nor I the Santa's official tracker. 24 hours a day, 365 days a year, NORAD tracks everything that flies in and around North America. On December 24th, NORAD has the very special mission of tracking Santa. It is the only organization in the world that has the technology, the qualifications, and the people to track Santa. What an honor. Would you like to hear another fact? No, thank you. I know how to contact Santa. Would you like to call him? Yes. Okay, I'm trying to... It's been almost a year since last Christmas. A year is such a very long time to wait, but the waiting makes Christmas time that much more great. I get so excited it's too hard to hide. From my stockings to cap, I'm filled up with Yuletide. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about Christmas? Could it be cookies, spending time with loved ones, calling family, or opening gifts, decorating the tree? <laughs> there are so many holiday things you can do. My favorite has to be talking to you. Oh, I do hope that it's your favorite, too. I've had such a good time, but I've got to run. I hope you'll call back for more holiday fun. That was fun. Alexa, thank you. Anytime. Glad I could help. Okay, hope I'm done. you enjoyed your Thursday. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. Ta you can turn on your... If you muted it, you can turn it on now. Here's Loki... Okay, I got I love this. It's an ornament and it like oh, it's really beautiful. Okay. She's There's a cat putt in my thumbnail. Absolutely not. She's She came in like a wrecking ball. Scoot over so the hot coffee's there too. It's Christmas time in my room. Yay! Okay, that's beautiful. It lights up and it is gorgeous and it's just like one that my grandma used to have except small and very nostalgic and I love it so much and I paid $8.49 for it and it is now $8.54. But they only have a silver one left. So the green one is sold out. Uh, there's a white one. There's a green. That's not silvery, though. <laughs> they have a gold one left. They call it silvery, but it looks gold to me. This is the only one that they have left. I will try my best to link to these orders, except not all of them have been delivered yet. Oh, gosh. Now, here's where I get to eat my words, I think. This is the only time ever that you will see me with a, I'm going to say it, damn truck with a Christmas tree in the back, but it was so shiny looking and cool that I couldn't resist it. I'm not one of those trucks with Christmas trees in the back people, but this one, I loved the blue. I loved the lights on it. I loved the bottle brush trees in the back that I haven't opened yet sticking out of the back. It is a tr truck with a wreath on the front, and it's got, is it easy to get the plastic off these? That's so cool that they wrap these individually in plastic, although, oh gosh, and it lights up. Oh, here's the little, here are the battery, it has batteries, and it has 
little lights that you can light something up with. I mean, it's got a little, I guess you can wind more lights around your little truck. I'm not going to take this apart yet right now because you have to pull the tree. Oh, you have to pull each tree out and take the little. Okay, let me do this. No. She's, oh, my glasses are back on. My hair looks like hell. Hello, look at my Christmas truck. Yay! It's oh the wheels turn. Yippee! All right, what did I pay for my Christmas truck? Okay, it's the only time I will ever have a Christmas truck. This is my obligatory Christmas truck. And could you get it in different color? Oh wow, it does light up. It's so pretty lit up. In the picture it's lit up. I just have to figure out how you do it. I'll have to figure out and we'll sh <laughs> I'll have to figure out how you you do it and then we'll, we'll do it in another video, but I'll show you the picture. I paid 2148 for it. I got a price adjustment. It's now 1934 and here is oh, you stand the trees up in the back. Okay. Here's what it looks like all lit up with the trees standing up. So, yeah. I had to buy that, you guys. I had to. I totally needed that in my life at Christmas time. I'm going to put it downstairs as some kind of a centerpiece or something. And I think that's all I have. I think I grabbed two. Yeah, now what I'm going to do is take a picture of that snowman, get my 20 bucks back from Timu, and the snowman in a plant or try to figure out some way to stick my one-footed snowman in some kind of a decorative way so he can still enjoy the holidays S snowman with a sweater on all right everybody if you watched thanks for watching thank you for clicking the thumbs up button that really helps my channel a lot and thank you for your kind, kind comments down below. And I love and appreciate you guys so much. And I'm sorry this was pretty short, 37 minutes. Uh, uh, but uh, there'll be a longer one tomorrow. And I was going to, I need to review this great, great pillow that I'm sleeping on. But it's got a big, I was so tired last night. I went to sleep with my makeup on. It's got a big face print on the side of it. Now I got to wash the pillowcase before I can review it. It's a special kind of pillow. So only the pillowcase that it comes in will work with it. And fortunately you can take that pillowcase off and wash it. So I came home to do the lunchtime review of the pillow. Pillow. And... I picked it up and saw the makeup all over it. And I went, aww. And I almost did the review anyway. But I thought people will think I'm so gross. So anyway, yeah, I fell asleep with my makeup on last night. Oh, no. Shocking. Every night you sleep with your makeup on, it ages you 10 years. Oh, no. All right, you guys. Thank you again, and I will talk to you tomorrow. I'm going to go down and eat something now, and I hope you guys have a great night, morning, or afternoon, whatever it is when you're watching this, and I will see you very, very soon. And now we say, how do we stop? Oh, yeah, and Diane Harcrow, it's all about you and your diamond painting kit that you won. Okay, bye, everybody. How do we stop this?